high kick and a shot immediately from Minner. And a smile on his face because he knew Jesse was going to try and come out quick and throw strikes early. There's a front headlock position. This is something that Jesse Arnett works in wrestling every day. This is also the setup to the Dars choke, which is something that Arnett is a fan of just because this position is so familiar in wrestling and it's a very, it's, it's danger free as a, uh, as a choke, but good work by Derek Minner again, showing off that wrestling. Look at the speed of both these guys, counter after counter. Incredible speed. Both guys moving very quickly here in the early going of round one of a possible five fight. Five rounds here for the championship, the bantamweight title. Now Jesse Arnett pacing a little slower. Possibly trying to slow it down to utilize his striking. Minner staying to the outside, keeping Arnett at bay with punches and kicks. He's also got a reach advantage, so look for him to try and jab on these big wild punches from Derek Minner. Again, one of those punches landed. This time he got Arnett right up close. Arnett willing to jump in here against Minner on the ground, gets him inside control, lands a couple of hammer fists. She's gotta be patient in this situation. Big elbows now from the champion. These elbows is what he did to Suk Kampasat. Ended up making Suk Kampasat's head look like a reverse golf ball. But Derek Minner, a step up in competition, able to transition right back to a guard. And again, big elbows coming from the champion on top. The crowd right behind Jesse Arnett, no surprise. And there's blood, blood coming from pooling beneath head. The blood pooling beneath the head of Derek Minner. And Jesse right back to the elbows. Arnett has to be careful here. There is one arm in. You can hear his coach is calling for him to stack Minner up. Gets out of that armbar danger and lands another elbow. Arnett, so far since this game has gotten to the ground, has been dominating with ground and pound. And again, there are some ugly spots underneath the head of Derek Minner. And Jesse Arnett now in side control, throwing that big hammer fist and has an arm now working into the back of Derek Minner. Needs to be careful about the back of Minner's head. Landing punches, trying to set up a choke. Minner grabs his arm, good defense there. Grabs it from the other side, uses it to transition. Now looking to wall walk on the cage. Just starting to trying to yank that arm out. Minner taking some damage on the bottom. Dangerous position here for Jesse Arnett because he's got one hand in, one arm out, and he has to recognize the danger on a triangle position. Arnett is also cut too, right on his hairline. And again, the speed of these two fighters, unlike anything we've seen on the card tonight, Arnett said that he thinks he is one of the best bantamweights in the world and trying to prove that here tonight against Derek Minner. Again, Minner looking for submissions from the bottom. Arnett has a cut on the side of his head, as does Minner. Able to slide out and stay in that top position. Nice use of the cage there from Minner to get back out. Arnett, though, relentless from the top, staying in that guard, finding strikes, finding a home for those elbows. Again, three, four, five elbows from the top from the champion. 
Short time remaining, and Jesse Arnett raining the elbows down. Derek Minner trying to survive for round two, and survive he will. A dominant round here from Jesse Arnett. Can't stay in the center of the cage. Minner and Arnett, this time they touch gloves. And a big high kick thrown slipping on the canvas. And now on the ground, Derek Minner. And now in trouble is the champion. A heel hook put on by Derek Minner trying the knee bar as well. Jesse Arnett could be in some trouble here, Jeremy. Got to find a way to deal with this position. There is pressure being put on there. Jesse Arnett, a very tough guy, able to slip out. And again, that one might be pure guts because I think that Derek Minner had that tight. There was a ton of pressure on the knee of Jesse Arnett. Arnett scrambling around the side. Minner in trouble, covering up. Defending, but not at this point. Referee just watching on top. Jesse Arnett with the back of Derek Minner trying to find a submission. And Minner wisely back into the guard, but again, that just opens him up for more of elbows from Arnett up top. Arnett is so long in the upper body. He has shorter legs and a longer upper body, so even when he's in a full guard, he's able to land these elbows to the side of Derek Minner's head. Yeah, when Minner came up at the end of the first round, he had a couple mice on his forehead from the elbows, and you can see him protecting against, and that one got through and rolling through to prevent those elbows now. And a choke in, an arm in choke for Jesse Arnett looking to finish this fight, looking to defend his championship. But Derek Minner doing a good job of keeping him from going to the side, Jeremy. This is how he defeated Dimitri Vardenberg with the same front Darce choke. Jesse Arnett. Continuing to work, looking for a choke. There's the tap. Jesse Arnett retains his championship with a very impressive victory over Derek Minner.